Howdy to YouTube. This is Michael with Earth Watching. Today is 4-3-2018. It is a Tuesday. I'm just sitting here tonight, had a little free time scanning through the FAA government aviation web cameras tonight. And I just found some uh, interesting anomalies I think you'd all be interested in. So let's get started here with one that I can show you. There's show you the definite proof something is up there here is our orb shape it's in our sky and right here you can definitely see the clouds are over top of it now move it from frame to frame so you can see that it disappears the clouds are blocking it up all the way around you can see pieces of it you know the shape of it behind the clouds so I believe that's proof that it is in space and it is definitely behind the clouds. Oh. See if you look it is there. As the sun gets closer and illuminates it, it makes it a little more visible. Yeah, I'm going to show you if you look up top of the screen probably have about six eight cameras up there and I'm going to show it to you in all of them and they've got two different kinds of cameras they got these are the little bit high. they actually got three I don't use the ones because 99% of the time you click on the ones with the pink dots or the purplish colored dots they don't work you, know, you get up you'll get four blocks with nothing but as you can see that is just incredible now let's go over here to the this camera here now let's scroll back I'll show you this orb on every single one. There's the reflection of the little red orb that causes that. When you see the big one, usually you can find the little one. So if you watch, I believe this is what I was looking for on this one. You can see it up here. This is way at 1.30. But you can see the light escaping from the side. There you go. You can see it as it comes up to it. And look here, that's the lens. Or that is our orb. I believe there's many space anomalies up there they're using to hide. You know, there's a giant planet up there. I'm sure it's brought us buddies, it's moons and sister planets and other things with it. But look at this here. There's your orb again. Definite. Let's go to our next camera. Alright, there's our sun. Let's scroll forward and backward. I believe this one's what I'm looking for. If you look right where my cursor is, it's a big orb. I believe that's the one I am looking for on this frame. I've got so many cameras, you can't remember where everything's at on every camera to point them out. So it's almost like you're watching it for the first time with me again. And that's what we were looking for on this camera. There you are. Click back and catch the edge of it right here. Let's keep clicking through. So you can definitely see it's there. It's almost as the sun's rays hit it and stop. Right there on the side. You can just see it. Next camera. And there you are. Plain as day. Like I said, that's how you also know it's not a lens reflection or refraction or anything because it doesn't move you know it moves slowly but flip through one more time on this one we have a lot to go through so I'm just doing a very quick one tonight and if you watch here closely there's your orb right here underneath the sun go forward a couple there you are go this way a couple there's the camera we looked at to start with just showing you I'm catching this on every single camera it seems that I go to I can find it for you there's other ones that I don't show just because it's so difficult to see I'd rather show you the crystal clear ones we'll let this one flip through see what we end up with oh well, sun just got bright in a hurry didn't it I swear it's like somebody just flips the on switch. You know it's controlled. There you are. Last frame. 
believe this is where we're looking. Scroll back and see if, yep. So I can switch frames and you can still see the circular outline behind the chemtrail haze. Like I said, it's difficult to see it in some, but when you see it in every camera, you see it in crystal clear, as if in like this one, then you're looking for that one. You know what to look for in the background from that point on. And it seems like whenever it's coming up, regardless if the sun is there or not coming in at the angle, you always see this little red reflection pop up. Now I thought it was a glare off the lens. As the sun hits it, that's just a reflection off the actual housing of what the camera's in. But now I'm not thinking so. Because I always see that very brilliant red dot in the sky. And it's just the way it reacts. It appears to be a lens reflection because it's coming parallel with this. But I'm starting to think I'm not sure. I'll just keep that one in the back and see what I come up with. So you flip through this camera here. See what we can. There you go. Check that out. There's our orb. And you can see the sun's here and just disappears. Bang! And then comes back out the other side here. And there it is. You have your cloud, which allows the sun to reflect, which makes it appear that the sun is in front of it. But I believe it's being eclipsed at this point in time. See, now look at how bright it is. Watch. See, it's very bright. Bright. We'll go one more frame. There. Now, just kind of like somebody turn the 30% of the light away. And at the same time, I start you start seeing this circular orb up here. Planetary body, giant lens, whatever it is. But it's definitely there. You know, number one, I show you that the clouds are in front of it. Number two, I'm showing you it's on multiple upon multiple cameras, the silhouette or even a very highly visible orb in the sky. I'm also showing you when the sun gets near it, all of a sudden all the camera frames get dim. So how much more proof do you really need that there's something up there? You know, it's almost like somebody turns the brightness down on some of these cameras when I'm showing you when the sun reaches that circular shape in the sky. See, there you go. The whole sky is lit up bright as day. And as the sun gets closer to it, it's right there is your orb. It's right here. The sun all of a sudden gets dim. And you see it right there. Just a big void in space. And this is what we got here. And I believe that's a reflection off that, which I still believe that's a lens what's hiding it. I need something behind it. And what's behind it is projecting the image through the lens because they're just hitting that right angle in space, which projects this onto the atmosphere. Just the same way your projector does at the movie theater. And there's your orb. You can see the outline of it back there. Another camera. Now we're to the crappy cameras. These I'm guessing are very low, probably at 480 at best. Even if that, right here, you can see the orb once again. And there, sun just lost 30% of its luminance. And it sets. Come back. And I'm not pointing out any of these other anomalies, like all these little squares or anything. That's all just crap on camera lens. These cameras here suck. They probably clean them once every four years. Like this here. I believe this is something with the camera. It's dirty projecting that. But this here goes around. And you can see it goes behind the clouds. A big dark orb. And it's the same thing I've been showing you in the other photos. Right on all the other video. It's getting ridiculous that you can't, you know, people aren't looking up and just seeing uh, what they're doing. 
you know, that's why they spray half the day for two reasons. Number one, to slow down the UV radiation that's penetrating their atmosphere because it's uh, depleted. And number two, they're using it to keep us from freaking out when it, from seeing the other heavenly bodies that are close enough in the sky that we could be seeing them. Let's go to our last camera tonight. Let's hit loop on this bad boy. Here you are. Let's see what we can find here. I believe this is what we're looking for. You can see the big dark shadow there again. And it's a perfect orb, you know, circular shape orb. And that's what drives me nuts. Now I've showed you. Now let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cameras tonight. And I've also shown you on all nine cameras the same type of orb and two different types of cameras. And you can see the sun's definitely brighter there. It reaches approximately where that giant circular shape is in the sky that I'm referring to and it dims out. Just giving you food for thought. Tell me what you guys think, people. I'm curious because I've been catching this for a year now and it's getting more prominent where I can catch it on more cameras. It's more visible where there's more clouds in front of it. It's deeper, it's darker, which means it's progressing as time goes on. Um, so, till next time, please be prepared and God bless.